Good morning, children. Welcome again to Four Digit Numbers Part Three. I hope you all are again excited to learn. We are going to learn ordering of numbers. How do you find out which is greater or smaller? Let's see. We have already learned what is a crocodile sign. That is, greater than, less than, or equal to, isn't it? Yes. Now let's see how we can compare or order four-digit numbers. The first step you're going to do is compare the digits in the thousands place. If the digits in the thousands place are same, then you move on to compare the numbers in the hundreds place. That's the second step. If the digits in the hundreds place are also the same, then you go on to step three. And compare the digits in the tens place. If the digits in the tens place are also no different and are same, then you go to step four and compare the digits in the ones place. So this is how you will do the ordering of numbers. Now let's see how we can compare four-digit numbers. That is, we can find out which number is greater, lesser, or equal to. In our lower classes, you have already learned what a crocodile does. The crocodile has a really big fat tummy, and it loves to eat the bigger number. So here we're going to compare a four-digit number. Let's take the example given here, which has seven thousand twenty-five on the left side and seven thousand two hundred and fifty on the right-hand side. You always need to remember that the comparison happens respect to the first number. So, what's the first rule we learned? We learned we need to first look at the thousands place. So, what do we have here? We have seven and again seven. Uh oh. So, what do we do now? We go to the step two. Step two, you go to the hundreds place. Now, compare the digits in the hundreds place. So you have zero in seven thousand twenty-five, while you have two in seven thousand two hundred and fifty. So, which one is smaller? Obviously, it's zero which is smaller and two which is greater. So, you say seven thousand twenty-five is smaller or lesser than seven thousand two hundred and fifty. Same way, we're going to learn what is increasing order or ascending order. Now, please let's recap what's increasing order. Increasing order means arranging from small to big. Here, we're going to arrange numbers in increasing order. That is, from small to big. Let's take the first example, which is four thousand fifty, five thousand four. Four thousand five and four thousand five hundred. Now, you have to follow the same rules that I had earlier told you. So, which place value are you going to look at? Look at the thousands place. So, I have highlighted it in black. So, let's compare. So, we have four, five, four, four. So, which is the smallest over here? It's obviously four. And five is the largest, so five goes at the end. So now you have to compare three numbers that are four thousand fifty, four thousand five, and four thousand five hundred. Now we move on to the hundreds place, since the thousands place is same. That is four. So what do we have here? We have marked in red as zero, zero, and five. So, how do we compare now? So, increasing means it's small. We are finding the smaller number. So, which is smaller? Is zero smaller or five smaller? Obviously, it is zero. Uh oh! Again, you have two numbers with zero in the hundreds place. So what do you do? You go to rule number three. So you move on to the tens place and compare the digits. Here I have highlighted it in yellow. So compare the digits 
of 4050 and 4005, you can see the tens place are 5 and 0. So which is the smallest? Yes, you got it. It's 4005. So now let's order it in increasing order. So we have 4005 followed by 4050, then 4500 and 5004. Similarly, let's take another example. Say 7186, 7786, 7453 and 7090. Now, let's take the rule number one. So you have to take the thousands place and compare. Oh, I see the same digits. So we have seven. So what do we do now? We compare the hundreds place. In the hundreds place, we have one, seven, four, and zero. So the numbers in blue are the hundreds place. So I think they're pretty different and it's quite easy to arrange them from small to big. So let's arrange them. So which comes first? Any guesses? Obviously it's zero. So we have 7019 first, followed by 7186, and then 7453, and 7786. Yes, you're absolutely right. Next, we have decreasing order or descending order. So what is decreasing order? Decreasing order means arranging the numbers from big to small. So let's take the first example over here. We have the numbers 1702, 1699, 1969 and 1996. So what's the first step? You compare the digits in the thousands place. So here, the thousands place marked by black is 1. So it's all the same. We cannot compare and so we move on to the hundreds place. The hundreds place in yellow color are 7, 6, 9, 9. So which is the biggest number? Uh -uh, we have 2, that is 9 and 9. We have two numbers to compare here. So 1,969 and 1,996. Since the hundreds place are 9 in both these numbers, we move on to compare the tens place. So the tens place here given in red color are 6 and 9. So which is the biggest one? Obviously, it's 1,996. So now let's arrange them in decreasing order or descending order. First, we have 1,996, then 1,969, followed by 1,702 and 1,699. Let's take another example, which is 2,300, 2,003, 2,030 and 3,002. So let's compare the thousands place. We have 2, 2, 2 and a 3. So, which is the biggest one? It's obviously 3002. So, let's write down 3002. Now, the remaining numbers have 2 in the thousands place. So, we cannot compare them and we go on to the hundreds place. So, the yellow digits, that is 300. Bingo, you got it. So, 3 is the biggest. So, you write down 2300 and then you have to now compare 2003 and 2030. Since both these numbers have 0 in their hundreds place, we go on to compare their tens place. So what do we have here? We have a 0 and a 3. So which is bigger? We have 3 which is bigger. So you write down 2030 